Yeah, so I guess I'll start with that in terms of the semi. That's going quite well, and, and that's the first step, to obviously, getting autonomous uh, trucks on the road. According to Tesla's latest announcement, the Tesla Semi will become the world's first fully self-driving truck with a total weight of up to 80,000 pounds. Nearly nine years after its debut, the Tesla Semi was once considered the most challenging vehicle Tesla had ever built. But now, everything has completely changed. The factory is, is going on schedule. We've you know, completed the building and are installing the equipment now. Um, we've got our fleet of validation trucks uh, driving on the road. We'll have larger builds towards the end of this year and then our first online builds in the first part of next year, uh, ramping into you know, the Q2 timing with real volume coming in the back half of the year. The mass production line at Giga Semi is nearly complete and Tesla will be able to build a truck like the Semi in just 10 to 15 minutes. Starting from late 2025, anyone, not just major logistics companies, will be able to order a Tesla Semi. The company announced an expected production of at least 10,000 units by the end of 2025, aiming to reach 50,000 units in 2026. According to Dan Priestley, this fully self-driving version is not only more powerful and quicker to accelerate, with an all-new, insanely low-drag coefficient, but also significantly more affordable, thanks to at least six major improvements in its manufacturing design. So, how does the fully autonomous Tesla Semi actually work? What design changes were made for mass production? And is its price really as groundbreaking as it sounds? Welcome to Tesla Car World. The Tesla Semi continues to draw widespread attention with its outstanding performance, standing out even in its early test runs compared to traditional diesel trucks. However, what we've seen so far is only the initial testing phase. Currently, all operating semi-trucks are prototypes, delivered to a select group of strategic customers for real-world testing and data collection. This crucial stage is designed to refine the final design before Tesla transitions to full-scale production at its new facility later this year. It seems Tesla is making a serious push to develop full self-driving FSD for the Tesla Semi. This was hinted at in a recent video that appears to show a Tesla Semi engineering unit equipped with sensor arrays, possibly undergoing real-world FSD calibration. A short video featuring the unique Tesla Semi engineering team has been shared online across several news platforms. According to the latest reports, the Tesla Semi engineers were driving on public roads when the footage was captured. The discovery of the mysterious Tesla Semi engineering unit has been met with enthusiasm by the EV community. Some believe that the development of the FSD system for the fully electric Class 8 truck could accelerate thanks to Tesla's ongoing investments in AI. After all, with full self-driving capability, the Tesla Semi could truly redefine long-haul trucking, offering a vehicle that's significantly safer and far more cost-efficient to operate than any other Class 8 truck on the road today. Interestingly, the Tesla AI team recently teased the upcoming deployment and release timeline of FSD for the Semi. Amid the excitement surrounding the rollout of FSD for the Cybertruck, several social media users began asking when this advanced driver assistance system would also be available on the Tesla Semi. In response to one of these questions, the Tesla AI team revealed that the Semi's FSD build is now in its final version and is expected to launch by the end of this year. However, widespread deployment will likely take a bit longer, potentially until the second quarter 2026, when Tesla may begin offering it to individual customers, not just major logistics companies like other commercial brands. Although Tesla isn't the only company producing electric trucks, Others include Volvo, Mercedes-Benz, Packard, Daimler, and BYD. It's almost laughable that none of them can truly compete with the Tesla Semi. That's not to say those electric trucks aren't good. They simply don't come close to the level of performance and innovation delivered by the Semi. Put simply, the Tesla Semi is the only electric truck capable of traveling 800 miles on a single charge, accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 20 seconds, even when carrying a total load of 80,000 pounds. And when it's not loaded, the Semi has been confirmed to maintain that same 800-mile range, a feat no other electric truck can match. The excitement around Tesla's next-generation Semi truck continues to build, and for good reason. The upcoming second-generation Tesla Semi isn't just about speed or raw power. It's a comprehensive evolution, packed with advanced upgrades that will likely redefine what commercial electric trucking can achieve. These enhancements aren't merely technical. They represent Tesla's continuous push to make long-haul transportation cleaner, smarter, and more efficient. Of course, the truck's futuristic look still sparks debate. Some love its sleek aerodynamic design, 
while others prefer the rugged appearance of traditional diesel rigs. And that's perfectly fine. Innovation always divides opinion. Tesla actively welcomes this kind of feedback, encouraging drivers and enthusiasts to share their thoughts. After all, community input has played a huge role in shaping Tesla's vehicle development over the years. Now let's get into the real engineering breakthroughs that set the new Semi apart. Beyond a few refined performance tweaks, the biggest change lies under the surface, in the all-new battery architecture that will power Tesla's latest generation of electric trucks. According to Tesla's Master Plan Part 3, the long-range version of the Semi currently uses an 800 kilowatt hour battery pack made with high nickel NMC chemistry. This setup allows it to achieve the remarkable range figures that have captured industry attention. Meanwhile, the shorter range variant, nicknamed the Semi Light, is powered by more affordable and durable lithium iron phosphate cells, offering a practical balance between cost and efficiency. However, the most significant leap forward comes with Tesla's plan to introduce its cutting-edge HV cells, better known as the 4680 battery cells, into future semi-models. These next-generation cells promise higher energy density, improved thermal management, and lower production costs. In other words, they're the key to making electric freight transport both more powerful and more economically viable. What's even more impressive is that despite these changes, the semi's outstanding range remains intact. Tesla achieved this through a roughly 7% improvement in overall efficiency, thanks to refined aerodynamics and design optimization. With the new setup, the truck can carry a smaller and lighter battery pack without compromising performance. This translates to reduced weight, better handling, and lower operational costs, a major advantage for fleet owners looking to save on both energy and maintenance. Many analysts long suspected Tesla would eventually adopt the 4680 cells for the semi and it's easy to see why. It wouldn't make sense to reserve Tesla's most advanced battery technology solely for vehicles like the Cybertruck. The 4680 cells offer exactly what heavy-duty electric trucks require. High output, energy efficiency, and scalable cost savings. Production efficiency is also on Tesla's side. Since the company manufactures these cells directly at the Nevada Gigafactory, Assembly and integration of the Semi's battery systems are faster and more streamlined than ever before. This vertical integration helps Tesla control quality, reduce logistics complexity, and accelerate deployment timelines. In addition to the mechanical and electrical improvements, Tesla has made several design refinements aimed at real-world usability. Dan Priestley, one of the key figures behind the Semi program, recently shared details about new side mirrors that enhance visibility and improve airflow. The updated cabin now includes drop glass, a redesigned windshield and side window system that provides drivers with a clearer field of view while boosting aerodynamics. The current prototypes feature traditional mirrors equipped with integrated cameras connected to a camera monitoring system. These feed live video to dual 15-inch interior displays, giving the driver a comprehensive 360-degree panoramic view of their surroundings. This setup not only satisfies regulatory requirements in the U.S., but also effectively eliminates blind spots, a huge step forward in trucking safety. The drop glass addition may sound small, but it's a big deal in practical terms. Since the driver's seat is centrally positioned, interacting with people outside, at checkpoints or delivery gates, used to require opening the entire door. The new roll-down window feature fixes that inconvenience, making daily freight operations smoother and more ergonomic. Tesla Semi's price shock. What's the real breakthrough Tesla is hiding? The Tesla Semi will be offered in two range configurations, 500 miles and 300 miles. Both variants will now feature redesigned side mirrors and drop-down windows to improve driver visibility and streamline interactions with external systems, such as terminal control panels at shipping ports. Previously, trucking companies that wanted to own a Tesla Semi had no choice but to pay extra for the standard 500-mile version, even if their daily routes were limited to short-distance hauls like urban deliveries or regional logistics. This created a financial burden for many small and medium-sized businesses, especially when they couldn't fully utilize the truck's long-range and premium capabilities. However, with Tesla's new configuration options, the Semi can now be customized to meet the specific operational needs of each business. For example, base versions with ranges between 250 and 300 miles are now available, ideal for short-haul transport. This added flexibility allows customers to avoid paying for unnecessary features while still benefiting from the core advantages that make the Tesla Semi so compelling. 
low operating costs, powerful performance, and eco-friendly design. Even the base models retain Tesla's signature qualities, durable electric motors, impressive acceleration, and aerodynamic styling that enhances energy efficiency. By scaling back premium features such as extended range and advanced driver assistance systems, Tesla has significantly reduced the upfront cost, making electric trucking more accessible and practical for a wider range of businesses. Tesla introduces two trims of the semi at the end of 2025. The right pricing will make diesel feel like yesterday's technology to even the most hard-nosed fleet manager. The men who sign purchase orders for tractors do not buy hype. They buy lower cost per mile, higher uptime, and a payback period they can explain to an accountant. On that score, a two-trim strategy can hit both the value buyer and the performance buyer, with prices that bracket today's heavy-duty Class 8 diesel tractors and undercut most battery electric competitors once the real costs are tallied. Imagine a standard range version with roughly 300 to 350 miles between charges and a manufacturer's suggested retail price of $199,000 and a long-range version with roughly 500 miles between charges at $249,000. Those sticker prices overlap well-spec new diesel tractors that often run between $150,000 and $200,000, while staying below many battery electric rivals that end up far north of $300,000 in practical configurations. Now layer in the Federal Commercial Clean Vehicle Credit, which has reached up to $40,000 for heavy-duty zero-emission trucks. With that credit alone, the effective entry price on the standard range falls to about $159,000. In the right states and with volume deals, it is realistic to see offers that start with $149,000. That is the shock number that wakes up a skeptical buyer. A brand new electric class 8 tractor effectively in the $149,000 to $159,000 lane. Operating math is where minds change. A typical long-haul diesel returns about 6 to 7 miles per gallon. At $4 per gallon, you spend roughly 60 to 67 cents per mile on fuel. Tesla has pointed to energy use under 2 kilowatt hours per mile. Think about 1.7 to 1.9 kilowatt hours per mile. If fleet or off-peak electricity is 10 to 15 cents per kilowatt hour, the energy cost works out to about 17 to 28 cents per mile. Even after you average different lanes and charging situations, you are very reasonably 30 to 40 cents per mile better than diesel on energy alone. Roll 100,000 miles per year, and that is 30,000 to $40,000. Saved annually before you touch maintenance. Maintenance pushes the gap wider. Electric powertrains have far fewer moving parts, no oil changes, no diesel particulate filters or diesel exhaust fluid systems to babysit, and regenerative braking that reduces wear on friction brakes. A cautious estimate is 10 to 15 cents per mile saved on maintenance. Add that to the energy advantage, and you are 40 to 55 cents per mile ahead of diesel. At 100,000 miles per year, you are saving 40,000 to $55,000 every year. That wipes out the initial price premium in two to three years after incentives. Owner operators and small fleets that keep tractors for five to seven years will see the cumulative cash advantage compound quickly. Performance matters to drivers and dispatchers. Tesla has claimed 0 to 60 miles per hour in roughly 20 seconds at a gross weight of 80,000 pounds and the ability to hold about 60 miles per hour on 5% grades. In real terms, that means steadier schedules, fewer slow crawls in the right lane on climbs, and less time lost in mountain corridors. Three independent drive motors mean instant torque at the wheels that matter and better traction when weather turns ugly. The charging profile associated with the megacharger concept has discussed power levels up to roughly 1 megawatt and demonstrations around 30 minutes to reach about 70% charge, which keeps utilization competitive for tight turns or driver swaps. If your network revolves around out and back spokes of 250 to 300 miles, the standard range at an effective $149 to $159,000 is the budget wrecking ball. If you run true regional or longer lanes and want 450 to 500 miles between stops, the long range at $249,000, or about $209,000 after the federal credit, still drives a faster payback than a diesel. Once you cross roughly 80,000 to 100,000 miles per year, payload is a fair concern. Battery electric class 8 tractors weigh more, but federal rules have allowed up to 2,000 pounds of additional gross weight for zero emission vehicles, which narrows the penalty. In many freight profiles, shippers run out of trailer space before they hit weight limits, 
especially with packaged goods, parcel, or lighter refrigerated loads, so the penalty often matters less than it appears on paper. Charging and site planning are the practical hurdles, yet many fleets already stage tractors at depots. Pairing overnight charging with midday top-offs keeps utilization high without relying solely on public infrastructure. Diesel still enjoys a station on every corner, but private behind-the-fence chargers at the yard put energy right where the trucks sleep. Put simply, if Tesla lands those two price points, the semi stops being a science project and becomes the default specification for high-mileage lanes. The standard range delivers the shock low entry that beats diesel on total cost from day one, and the long range delivers speed on grades and range confidence while still paying back in two to three years at real annual mileage. For American men who run the numbers and pull the hills, that is the persuasion that matters. The year 2025 is shaping up to be a defining moment for Tesla, as production of the semi-truck ramps up at an unprecedented pace. The company has set an ambitious goal of building at least 10,000 units before the year ends. Looking ahead to 2026, Tesla aims even higher with a target of 50,000 trucks, though reaching that full figure may take time. Still, one thing is beyond doubt. By the close of this year, 10,000 Tesla semis are expected to roll off the production line. Tesla remains firmly committed to delivering every outstanding order to customers who have been waiting patiently for years. Elon Musk has long stressed that businesses choosing not to adopt the Tesla semi are potentially leaving huge profits on the table. With its groundbreaking energy efficiency, lower fuel expenses, and minimal maintenance requirements, the semi isn't just another truck, it's a revenue-generating powerhouse on wheels. The best part? Tesla plans to make the semi available to a much broader customer base in the near future. And Tesla is offering customizable configurations for the semi, allowing fleets to tailor their trucks based on performance needs and budget constraints. Early users have consistently praised the vehicle's exceptional power, range, and reliability. If Tesla stays on course, by 2026 the semi could redefine the global trucking industry proving once and for all that electric trucks can outperform their diesel counterparts. So what do you think about the current price of the Tesla Semi? Is it really worth the services that this vehicle provides? Please share your opinion in the comment section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.